when I was 11, my dad bought me this camera. And the great thing about this is that you've got this little viewfinder, this tiny, tiny, tiny viewfinder. And by looking through that, you have a very restricted view. And I think my way, which is to do with looking and seeing, I think came from this camera. I've been in London for many, many years now. I think London is full of energy. I think it's very, very international. It's very strongly connected to fashion and to all forms of design. The other thing about London is uh, at the weekend, I can go to any number of fantastic museums and art galleries, which can be, of course, very inspiring in my job. The John Stone Museum is one of my favorite museums in London. A lot of people actually don't know of it. If you go there, it's just, you cannot believe what an interesting mind John Soane had. He was an architect, but also designed his own house. And it, it became so overcrowded that he had to invent things like walls that opened up or interesting ways of creating the feeling of light and space by using mirrors. He was so creative and just it all came from his head rather than from anything he'd seen. And, uh, that's very linked to curiosity. Curiosity uh, is one of the key points in today's world. Be brave enough to ask questions. The Royal Academy in London is a fantastic, very well established gallery. And what's so un unique about it is that it still has a school of art. So for many years now, I've had a Portsmouth scholarship putting a student through the course there. And over the years, had some fantastic students that have, that have gone on to do very, very well. It's fantastic for me to have this link. They have amazing, lovely little studios and they have one of the oldest life rooms in the whole of London uh, with this amazing light that is so important to artists. This is our gallery called Browsing with Derby. One of the long-standing galleries on Cork Street. Sadly, Cork Street has changed a lot, and a lot of the original uh, galleries have had to move out. They've stayed here, which is fantastic, and also they've stayed with this particular type of painting, which they've been very loyal to over the years. It's a particular gallery that has really stuck by its convictions of a certain type of art, and I think that's quite brave in today's world, which is uh, very competitive. Albemarle Street Shop in Mayfair. The basement is often used for exhibitions. John Booth is a friend of ours who's a painter, and so we set up a little studio in the corner for John to actually work within the store because he's working on some paintings which are for our shop in Los Angeles, and it also makes our shop different to other shops around the world. I've always thought it was really odd to think that a shop would just have a certain sort of clothes and not have anything odd in it because I think as human beings, hopefully, we're a bit more special than that. <laughs>